Hello, my name is Heather Turner. I'm a donor certified birth doula and a Lamaze childbirth educator. I'm the owner of Your Birth, which is located at Yoga in Quartz Hill, which is in the Antelope Valley. I'm here today to talk to you about the peanut ball. Sherry Grant, the owner of PremierBirthTools.com, has come up with an incredible program on how to educate doulas and childbirth educators and midwives, labor and delivery nurses on how to properly use the peanut ball for women in labor. One of the tools that she has is this laminated position card that has three or four different positions with the instructions and the times that you would rotate through to help whoever is supporting the laboring mom on how to use the peanut ball. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go next door into the studio and meet my friend Leslie. She's due in about a month and she has graciously volunteered to be my pregnant model. So this is my friend Leslie. Uh, she's a, a dual client of mine and she's due in about a month with her first baby. And she's going to help me show you some great positions to get in with the peanut ball. So this next position that we're going to try is called the side line. So go ahead and lay down on your side facing me. And go ahead and get comfortable, as comfortable as you can. And then go ahead and open up your legs. And what's really important about this position is that you keep your bottom leg bent. Just like that, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Some women tend to straighten that leg, but it it can close off your hips a little bit, your pelvis, so you want to keep it bent. And then if it feels a little wobbly, when you're in the hospital bed, we can put pillows on it so that it feels more comfortable. Okay. So The other position is called the tuck position. And this one puts you in a squatting position, which is really beneficial for you and the baby. And Obviously, if you have medication, it would be impossible to do. So go ahead and, and open your legs like you were going to for the, the side line and get your legs right in the inlet. And then you're going to scoot your legs up, like, to, well, yeah, like this together, like that. And you're going to grab the ball oh, yeah. and into a tuck position. So kind of wrap this leg around it too, like that. Perfect, just like that. And right. you can actually push in this position too. Oh, I see. Yeah, and it gives you a little something to hold on to. Okay. I see how that's like a squat. Mm -hmm. yeah, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Great. So, go, yeah, sit like that. Okay. And then open, let's put this leg up and over it. It's a good thing you take your butt. <laughs> okay. So, kind of relax your hips and Maybe give a little bend to this knee, like. That felt like it opened up more. Yeah. So this one's called the, the semi-sitting lunge. The semi-sitting lunge. And um, lunging when you're in labor can be really comfortable and can really make a lot of space in your hips. But once again, if you're tired um, or if you're medicated, this is a great option. So we would switch legs sure. as well. It's called Taylor sitting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoot this knee in a little, like more like, like you're gonna squeeze the ball. Oh yeah, okay. So let's, yeah. I can't get my foot that far. <laughs> okay, she that might be longer knee. legged than you. I think so, because I'm like, I'm like literally pushing this ball together. Here we go, like that. How does that feel? It looks like it cocks your hip a little bit. I'm, yeah, this one is. And that might be because we're, sorry, I keep stepping away, because we're on the bed. Um, but how does that one feel? Does it feel okay? Yeah. Okay, so this one is the 70 centimeter peanut ball. Now, this one is only 80% inflated because I just inflated it tonight. So since it's anti-burst, you have to wait 24 hours before you can fill it up all the way. So it actually gets much larger. 
Um, this is the only peanut ball that you sit on. None of the other ones are designed to be sat on. Yeah, which is another reason why the average person wouldn't have one because, and this thing is ginormous. So. Yeah. Um, but that will really open my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do the sideline with this yeah. for JJ maybe. Um, so what's nice about this one is, so you can go ahead and sit on it. You would just squat right over here in the middle. Okay. And I think even though it's eighty percent. One leg on each side. Yeah, just to straddle it. And as you look at the card. What we can do with this one is we can have you sitting on it. Oh, yes. And they've got their squat bar, the bed is broken down, and then they've got a rebozo. Yeah. So this can be a really comfortable position, separate from the birth ball, to sit on. Yeah. The trick would be if the hospital has one of these. Um, one of so these? or One of those. Oh. One of this large size. Mm -hmm. Um, because this would be this would be tough to for the doula to carry along with that along with a birth ball. You know. <laughs> really, you don't have three or four arms like she does. <laughs> I can make several ones though. But, um, so when we talk about covering them, we can just use a, a labor gown. Mm -hmm. One of the hospital ones is perfect. Um, if your membranes are ruptured, we can put a chux pad on there. Works great. The last position that we're going to try is the forward leaning. So what I'm going to have you do is get on your hands and knees, and we're going to put your head down at this end. I'm going to stand here just so the ball doesn't roll off. Okay. And you're going to kind of lean back a little bit so that you've got room. Yeah, so that your belly hangs. Oh. Yeah. So if you were in the hospital bed, we would raise the bed up a little bit and. And so that you could probably come off your elbows and maybe let your arms hang like this so that your arms don't get fatigued. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. And then, you know, if you were having a back labor, um, your husband and I could be rubbing your back and um, and maybe come, you're like in a more of a forward leaning. So bring your legs in a little bit, like come forward a little bit so you're more supported. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So once again, the, the bed would be up a little higher. Yeah. So you would be hanging more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah.